this is Umesh Arora from CAD CAM Solution Mirror and today we are going to create uh, this solid model and in this drawing we have five views one is front view if you will see this from the front view at that time this view will come okay so this is my front view one top view and two auxiliary view this is the view from side view this is side view and this one is the auxiliary from the back of this portion so uh, in this drawing I will start from this front view first of all I will create this sketch and then I will extrude it and later I am going to create some holes and some pad so let's start with the annex so select this sketch and my front view is YZ and click OK and first of all I am creating a line near about 140 and then a little bit up come to this point at a certain angle and again perpendicular and again perpendicular and here parallel and again match it now first dimension this which is 140 and now select these two line and make them parallel okay this thickness is 18 and 90 the length of this line is 90 and angle is 60 degree so change it to angular and angle between this is 60 click and in between this is 90 and 140 it is okay and this is 19 so again select gap between this not angle dimension between sorry delete this nineteen okay and any other dimension nineteen this is also nineteen <coughs> okay and for this we have to go to other view so fill it 5 and fill it 6 ok and here we have some view so draw a rectangle 2 point rectangle click and 16 and 33 from the right and height 30 plus radius 25 plus radius so radius is 38 means 19 so double click 25 plus 19 okay and this gap is obviously 19 <coughs> so I will create this single one and later I will mirror it and for this dimension 62 we have to extrude 62 64 half of 32 uh, 32 is a half value and 64 is a full height Okay, this is 51 plus radius the radius is 32 so this dimension will be 51 plus radius the outer radius is 32 so add 32 
and close now my sketch is fully constrained finish it and extrude and here I am selecting this region boundary curve so this is my region boundary curve and uh, it is in sheet select the solid and symmetric value and 32 is a half value and apply and for this is this one 19 is uh, 38 is outer diameter so 19 and symmetric again change it to solid and unite apply and okay in setting in body type it is automatically coming the sheet so we have to change preferences modeling and body type to solid so automatically solid body will create and here 32 is a radius so select this and this 32 apply and here it is 19 <coughs> apply okay so this is the geometry okay and now I'm going to create this counter hole so select this hole and uh, click over the center and diameter is 19 and counter da is 32 and uh, depth is 9 which is here 9 counter depth is 9 and value to 35 and apply Okay. now I have to cut this gap okay you can see here this is the gap 22 okay 22 is a gap so select this extrude and this time I am selecting only a single curve and my single curve is this line and select it two-sided and on the both side we have 11 11 here and 11 here drag it on the opposite side here it is 11 minus 11 here and again 11 is here like this symmetric see this is the thickness so my thickness is 6 so 6 ok 6 from the center and here it is 22 and change it to subtract and apply this gap will come okay and again we have one more gap here so select this curve and here 42 so half of 42 is 21 21 and the depth is again 6 <coughs> 6 and um, let's, uh, keep it like this okay now I'm going to apply the draft we have the draft of 30 degree so uh, here in draft select 
start limit it is going there okay so it will not work so just click it okay so that it will cut and still the space is remaining so move and click and drag it opposite side okay <clears throat> now we have to define draft so this is a draft and my direction is okay and stationary face is this upper one and my edge is this one okay and 30 degree the reverse okay the gap is 42 and it will come inside at the same I need here and apply <clears throat> okay if you want to see just see okay from the same view from the top view <clears throat> uh, now we have already completed this all portion only two holes are remaining and so for this hole select this face or directly you can go for hole command so i am selecting this hole command and this time it is simple hole and my dimension are are here and click wait Okay, my face is this. This point and this line. Okay, no problem. Just double click and change it to 11 and double click. This is 28. Close and one more point which is here. And the gap between these two is 29 close and finish and the hole is 13 diameter hole is 13 diameter and apply Already. okay so on this face we have to create new sketch so a sketch over this face and orient the view okay and the center is here and up to this and the hole is the smaller hole is 19 diameter finish and first extrude this 0 and only 3 millimeter which will unite with the previous body and apply and now we have to cut this so select this circle and extrude in both direction and subtract okay hide all the sketches now I am going to create a new plane from here to reverse direction flip 33 plus half of 29 is 14.5 and ok now mirror feature 
my first second and third feature and plane is this and see the preview and pillet is still remain so select pillet from part navigator first and this all stood and this all and my plane is this one and see okay if you want to hide this plane now you can hide it so this is our model Hope you like it. If you like, please do subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial.